Hey, and welcome to Technica, the tech news I care about. This is episode five, the state of the smartphone union. I'm Neil Berman. This week was Mobile World Congress, which is the biggest mobile phone show in the world, um, set in Barcelona. And there were a lot of big announcements this week, some of which I've already covered, such as the Windows Phone announcement. So um, what I thought is this week we'll uh, kind of summarize some of those and talk about what the state of the smartphone union is. So I'm going to cover a few of the different platforms. So Windows Phone, we'll talk about Android, we'll talk about iPhone, we'll talk about BlackBerry and Palm. Um, let's start with Windows Phone. That's certainly the newest one, and it's also in a way almost the oldest one because Windows Mobile has been around for a very, very long time. Now, Windows Phone 7 series was announced on Monday and uh, it's brought a lot of changes. So there's a new interface, which is similar to the Zoom HD interface. It's similar to the uh, Windows Media Center interface, but there are also a lot of nice things on top, like various tiles and, and a lot of animations that um, bring the operating system way up to date. So it's certainly a very cool interface. Um, it was just shown on a prototype device for now. Um, very much focused on media, games, social networking, and the internet. Um, media comes from the Zune HD platform and, and from, from the Zune ecosystem, um, and, and there'll be tie-ups to the, the Zune desktop application and, and probably Zune Marketplace as well. Maybe that's how you'll actually buy apps to get them onto the phone. The gaming comes from Xbox Live, which is um, you know absolutely massive. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of games actually come out for the for, for the Windows Phone 7 series devices. I wish they'd chosen a simpler name. The social networking aspect, which integrates when integrates Windows Live and Facebook, is uh, really quite fantastic looking and and pulls photos. Um, directly from Facebook as they get updated by your contacts, which is really fantastic. So it really does feel like a, 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 a so it looks like a live experience on the phone. And of course, you know, the internet and email, um, it's all on there as well. So um, criticisms are that there's no um, flash support at launch. Um, the iPhone's been widely criticized for, for not supporting flash either. Um, but I, I, I guess in, in a slight uh, reference to um, Apple, uh, Steve Barmer did mention that um, Microsoft's not averse to, to talking with uh, Adobe about integrating Flash, it's just that it's not going to be there at launch, so um, I'd certainly expect it to, to come in time. Um, would expect also that Office and productivity um, functionality of Windows Phone 7 series is going to be very strong. Um, there didn't seem to be a focus upon that this week um, at, at Mobile World Congress, and I think Microsoft was very smart for avoiding that. Everyone knows that the Windows Phone platform is going to be strong with, with Office, with Outlook, and with Exchange. Um, there was probably no need to accentuate that and rather focus the device on uh, media, which I think was a very smart move for Microsoft. So, you know, where does that leave corporates who are heavily invested in Windows Mobile? Um, good question. <laughs> I th you know, there's certainly no backwards compatibility between Windows Phone 7 series and uh, Windows uh, Phone 6.5.3, which is where we're at right now. Uh, but you know, perhaps the existing platform will remain for quite a while in place and will allow corporations to, to migrate across in a sort of orderly manner. Um, Windows Phone 7 series is due for release um, in, uh, towards the end of this year, um, likely say around November kind of time. Um, it's probably when we'll see the first devices. Um, so what was new on, on Android? Um, starting to see um, a lot of devices on Android running different builds. It's al it almost feels like what Windows Mobile used to be and I think that's really one risk around that platform. There's clearly a lot of energy there which is great. Um, there was a Flash 10.1 um, demo on, on a Motorola Droid which looked fantastic. Well done uh, Google and, uh, and the Android platform for getting that going. That's really, really great and, and ups the ante for iPhone and, and Windows Mobile to do it as well. Uh, sorry, Windows Phone 7 series. Um, so, you know, Android is still you know, a really strong platform for, for people who are very centered around Google, um, which, you know, it's, it's clearly a lot, of, a lot of people out there and, uh, and they're getting a lot of market share, so um, certainly a platform with a lot of promise. Um, the iPhone, no major announcements this week. Um, possibly going to be seeing a new iPhone operating system in, in the next couple of months, um, but, you know, it remains obviously a very, very strong platform. Um, 
and um, you know, not really much more to say there except the hardware is now a few years old, the operating system is now a few years old, um, looks like Windows Phone 7 series is doing better, um, although we haven't actually seen the, the, the final version, so hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll start to see um, some exciting developments from Apple, would be great. Um, on the BlackBerry platform, um, really the major announcement this week was a WebKit browser, which looks really, really good on, on, on BlackBerry. Um, I think BlackBerry could be one of the casualties of the Windows Phone 7 series. Um, BlackBerry and, and RIM had won a lot of market share from Windows Mobile, and certainly with Windows Phone 7 series coming along, I expect a lot of that market share, especially in the corporate space and, and probably in the consumer space as well, to start coming back to Microsoft. So um, BlackBerry um, definitely, <laughs> desperately, definitely and desperately needs a new operating system um, really the existing one is starting to look very very tired and um, you know as a user myself I'd certainly like to see something new in that space so um, I think if Room wants to keep a battery relevant for the next sort of three years ahead um, to fight off some competition from Microsoft we need to see some development on the operating system side there. Uh, Palm I think is going to suffer a lot when Windows Phone 7 series gets released. Um, the Palm Pre, the Pixie, the Pre Plus, the Pixie Plus, uh, lots of pluses, not that many minuses to that platform right now, but it is actually quite a small platform unfortunately, and I'm not sure if it's going to have enough time to fully emerge and grow to the extent that it needs to gain the critical mass to fight off an onslaught from not only Apple and, uh, and RIM and Google, but now also Microsoft as well. So that's the current state of the smartphone union. And that was this week's Technica. I'm Neil Berman for The On Button. Check out our YouTube channel, which is theonbutton.com. And of course, our website, which is theonbutton.com. See you again next time.